हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्स पॉट दिस इज मी हरीश गोपाले सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टीप्लेक्सर स्पेसिफिकली टू इज टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर वॉट इज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ टू इज टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर द थ्रू टेबल ऑफ टू इज टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ हार्डवेयर डिजाइन ऑफ टू इज टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर बाई यूजिंग वेरी पावर so if i talk about multiplexer so it acts like a switch that can uh, select uh, uh, one or more than one inputs based on the select line and the selected inputs will be forwarded to the output and specifically if i talk about 2 is to 1 multiplexer so 2 is to 1 multiplexer is having two inputs it can be a and b a select line and a output y okay so based on select line inputs a and b are forwarded to the outputs y okay if select line is 0 then input a will be uh, routed to the output y if select line is 1 then input b will be routed to the output y okay now uh, let's uh, jump to the uh, implementation of 2 uh, to 1 multiplexer by using a uh, very log on a design uh, on a uh, vivado tool so let's move to the screen. so here you can see my screen uh, this is the vivado tool and here only we are going to implement 2 is to 1 mux and as we know that 2 uh, is to 1 mux uh, is a combinational circuit and in very log uh, we are having two procedural blocks for the implementation of combinational circuits uh, that is uh, always at the red and always at the red star so what we are going to do uh, first we'll implement 2 is to 1 mux by using always at the red procedural blocks we will see the schematic and i have already written a tb code for for the verification of this 2 is to 1 mux so we will simulate uh, the code and we will see the waveform also after that uh, we will uh, use always at the rate uh, star procedural block and uh, we will check the schematic and similarly we will uh, see uh, see uh, we will uh, check the waveform also okay now here you can see uh, i have already written little bit code for the implementation of 2 is to 1 mux So my module name is 2 is to 1 mux. I am I have two inputs of four bits, select line and y out of four bit. Now what I will do? Now first uh, I will write logic. So first we have to use always um, always at the rate processor block. So always um, at the rate um, begin and end. now if uh, if you are using always at the red then you have to add the sensitivity list sensitivity list is nothing but the signals so how many signals we are having 1 2 3 4 four signals so first is a comma b b comma selecting selecting comma y out okay now inside the begin end we have to write the logic now uh, we know that if select in is zero then uh, input a will be routed to the output uh, output y out so what we will do here we will use the if else condition if uh, select in also select in is equal to zero hmm. y out is equal to a those uh, blocking assignment because it is recommended to use blocking assignment inside the combinational procedure okay else why out equal to b Select in is equal to tick b zero is equal to is equal to is equal to okay. Now we'll uh, save this okay and uh, schematic. I already clicked on schematic, so I will click on this reload. Then it will show me the schematic. Yeah, so you can see the schematic. Uh, a b are the inputs uh, based on select line uh, we will get this input into the output okay 
now i will uh, click on this uh, tb file so here you can see the uh, tb file module uh, tb4 2 is to 1 max then inputs a b of 4 bit select line output of 4 bit and this is the instantiation uh, max 2 is to 1 uh, design name instance and uh, now dot a uh, of a b of b select in of select in dot y out of y out now inside the initial begin i have given some values of a b and select line now will now i will uh, click on this uh, uh, run simulation and it will give me the waveform so here you can see uh, it has already given the waveform hmm. Hmm. Uh, here you can see uh, input a b select line when select line is zero then input a should be routed to the output so here you can see input a is routed to the output uh, y out uh, when select line is one uh, input b is routed to the output uh, y out here you can see uh, two is uh, routed to the output y out uh, again uh, select line is zero then nine is routed to the output y out okay now again i will go to the code hmm. And I will comment uh, this. Uh, okay. Uh, instead of commenting, what I will do? Uh, we have checked with always add the procedural block. Now I will check with always add the star procedural block. So I'll remove this sensitivity list and simply I will add the uh, star here. I will click on this. Okay. And uh, star is okay. Hmm. Now again I will uh, click on this schematic. So it, it shows me reload. Okay, I will reload it. It will give the same schematic. Okay, but that is by using uh, always add the star procedural block. Okay, so you can see it has generated a schematic. Now what I will do, I will uh, instead of using uh, if else uh, uh, condition, I will use the case here, case statement, case inside the case uh, select in select in okay and then end case and uh, inside that uh, we are uh, having two possibilities zero and one so if it is zero then uh, y out y out is equal to okay if select in is one then y out is equal to b okay hmm. i'll click on this save button okay again i will reload this yes so you can see uh, this is the schematic zero and one this schematic is generated when uh, we have used case statement when we have used um, um if else statements now then that time it was showing uh, default default there okay now uh, what i will do um, uh, we have already we have already written a tb code so i will click on the uh, uh, run simulation uh, but I, as i already uh, run this what i will do i will click on this option so it will relaunch the simulation okay. hmm. so i will click on this waveform here you can see a uh, waveform So again, value A uh, is um, uh, assigned to the output Y out when select line uh, is zero. What I will do, I will change the uh, value from the DB file. Instead of 10, I will write here uh, 11. Instead of 12, I will write 13. Okay. I'll click on this uh, save button. Again, I will relaunch the simulation and will check the updated value. But uh, here, yes, uh, in view value is D. Okay, and in I uh, select select in is zero, so out uh, input from A is routed to output uh, Y out. Uh, when select line uh, select line is uh, uh, high, so uh, input B that is two values routed to the output Y out. So then implement a two is to one max by using procedural uh, by using Verilog procedural block. Always add the and always add the red star. Now if I talk about uh, system Verilog, so system Verilog is the upgraded version of uh, Verilog. 
so in system very log uh, we are having always com procedural block for the design implementation of combinational uh, circuits so what i will do here instead of taking always address star i will take always com okay and uh, in from source i will uh, change the file type so here uh, click right go to the set file type and uh, click on uh, system very log and click on this okay now and uh, in uh, uh, always com yes always com begin we have to give begin end and instead of using rage uh, we are having a uh, logic in uh, system very log so i will use that i'll click on the save button and again i will click on this um, schematic so that it will give me the schematic I'll click on this reload. Now this schematic is um, uh, by using a system log always com procedural block. Okay, and uh, the same uh, test bench uh, used to verify the uh, this two is to one mux. Okay, so in this way, uh, in this video, we saw uh, the impl practical implementation of uh, two is to one mux by using. Uh, very log procedural blocks and by using system very log procedural blocks okay i'll wait uh, it will hmm. and uh, this is the schematic so uh, here i will stop the video if you are watching this video uh, then please uh, like the video and if you are new to this youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much